I've spoken about my favorite rose before, and it's still got to be Deloitte and Touche. Why, Peter? Deloitte and Touche is incredibly hardy. It's a free flowering rose and never stops flowering. We're sitting at the end of June in 2024, and just look at the volume of flowers that Deloitte and Touche is still sporting. Named after the famous international accounting firm Deloitte and Touche, this rose has flowers a semi-double form in tones of peach, apricot and orange. They fade to an almost soft tone of pink. What is the correct way to plant a rose? We always start off with a good root builder. Atlantic Root Build is a brilliant brand. We could also use bone meal or superphosphate. And then as your compost, you do get on the market particular brands for as a rose compost. So Calterra does a rose mix. Mix the two together, plant them and mulch them and keep them well watered. I love combining Deloitte and Touche with shades of blue and purple. This purple and bloom salvia goes beautifully with the peach, apricot and orange. Peter, where do I plant this rose in my garden? You'll need a sunny position, so you need at least six to eight hours of full sun per day. Look how beautifully they do in pots. This Deloitte and Touche, it's one plant that's filled up this pot. They also do well in borders and rose gardens, and they'll mound up into a mass of beautiful peach, orange and pink flowers. And how, often how often do I need to water? Look, they love water, that's just the truth, and they don't like borehole water if it's saline. So you've got to water them at least three times a week, and in sometimes a summer even more. I never quite Is deadheading necessary with this particular rose? You do deadhead a rose. We noticed with this one that by not deadheading it much, it still sported new growth. But as a standard procedure, we always cut off the old spent flowers when they're finished. How often do we need to feed this at rose? Monthly, at least once a month, but we don't feed over the winter months. Winter months. What do I use for feeding? We use 315 as a good standard procedure, and we also like Ludwig's Vigorosa. All the products mentioned in this video are available at Floridale Nurseries, your favorite Port Elizabeth garden center. Find us easily at 63 Circular Drive in Charlotte, Port Elizabeth.